Welcome back to the Anti-Man channel. We are back with another Stop This Place segment. I've spent the last week trying to find more stuff in the game. And in this segment, I'm going to give you a play that can give you a more complete defense in regards to your play action defense out of single back or pistol. In the last Stop This Play video, we looked at two plays out of the nickel 245 double A gap. There were two plays that were good at stopping the play action out of the pistol and single back. But the only problem was it only worked when the running back was going to the right. And that was bothering me. So I decided I needed to have something to call when my opponent was running a play action out of the pistol or single back when the running back was going to the left. So in this video, we're going to look at a play that will give you an option when your opponent picks up the blitz because the running back is going to the left. The play is the three overload fire press out of the nickel 335. And if we just get into it real quick, I'm going to pick a random pistol play. Let's see if we can find a pistol play going where the running back is blocking to the left. Now, all these are blocked to the right. This is to the right. Um, the waggle, that's the first one. It's going to the, to the left. So, you see the running back is going to the left. Now, I don't know if this play is going to work, um, but we want to have a defense that can kind of stop everything. Now, if you take a look at the play art, it's just a fire zone blitz with the heat coming off the left side, and that's it. Now, the only thing you need to do on the setup is... Pass commit play QB, obviously with the play action. And all you're going to do is use this strong safety over here. And your main responsibility is going to cover any crossing routes that are kind of going deep middle. So over the middle of the field, all you want to do is take away anything that's going deep middle. Now there will be some um, crossing routes that are kind of going underneath. And those are the ones that you may get beat on. But the point of this defense is to give you something to call when your opponent is running that running back and he's blocking on the left. Um, because this play, consistency-wise, I think it's going to give you maybe 60% um, successful rate. So let's just run this. And uh, Right here, the blitz does not come in. But you see everything's pretty covered right here. There's not a whole lot of options. And I end up throwing it that way. So basically what you're going to want to do is on, uh, let's take this replay. On, on When you're using that free safety, on that strong safety in the middle of the field, you want to make sure that you take away the middle field now this is you back here uh, you can see that there's no real routes going over the middle well there's a deep route here coming over the middle so you take that but as soon as he doesn't have anything you need to kind of get back to the middle of the field you see the safety he's just dropping deep 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 as the deepest man but you don't really need to do that uh, because especially when your opponent is going to wait for the guy to cut back over the middle that's why you need to get there and get back into position so just cover the middle of the field and all you're going to need to do is pass commit play QB. We'll run it a few more times just to see how it does. This time the blitz doesn't come off. But you see everything's pretty well covered. I end up just throwing there into tight coverage to see if you can catch it. And again, you will get beat sometimes. But it's going to make your opponent uncomfortable when you're, you've got everything covered pretty well. Now right there, I didn't have anything, so I just ran it. And that's the best, uh, one of the better scenarios you can have. Um, when you give your opponent nothing, nobody to really throw the ball to. Now right here, the blitz still hasn't come off. Right here, we get heat from the defender. I end up getting nothing right there. So it's doing a decent job at defending this play. Uh, let's see. The heat does not come off on this. So for this particular play, the heat is not coming off. But we are getting good coverage and good uh, defense in the back, back there. So let's pick another play um, and see if we can get some pressure. Because most of the time the pressure will come up the uh, middle A gap or it'll come off the left side. So let's pick another play. We did the waggle. Okay, this PA wide receiver slip it has the running back. You see it's going to the left. We'll just pick that one. And we will go back to the nickel 345, 335, 3 overload fire press. Pass commit, play QB. Use the safety in the back. And because I'm using the, uh, the offense right now, I can't really use the safety. But what you want to do is just... Cover the middle of the field. Don't let any routes that are going like kind of deep post routes over the middle. Cover those uh, manually and get a double team on that. All right here we snap it. Look and we get an A gap right up the middle. So this play looks like it could get destroyed with this play because you've got pressure. Okay, that time the pressure gets picked up, but I didn't really have anybody open. Let's run it one more time. Call it here. Look for this guy over the middle, and that's why you want to guard over the middle because that is where your opponent is most likely going to be trying to go because you have everybody else covered. 
You just need to make sure you guard any routes going on. Now this time the heat comes off the left edge. The slot DB comes in untouched. Pass commit Kelly PG, play QB. This time the, the blitz gets picked up. And that would be you trying to cover this route over the middle. Make sure you get over there and, and cover that route over the middle. Let's run it one more time. Um, on this play, I think it'll probably come up the left A gap or off the edge. Uh, this time it comes right up the middle. So you can see it's a pretty decent play. Uh, worked about 50% of the time. So it's a good call that you can you can um, use whenever you see your opponent is blocking that running back to the left. Let's pick a couple more pistol plays. See if we've got anything else going to the left. Okay, we've got a PA post shot, which is basically a shot play, which when you see that tight end on the right, he's over there blocking. Let's see how it does on this. Because a lot of times if you're playing an opponent and he does run one of these shot plays, they're not going to really do anything in terms of hot routing and adjusting because these plays already get uh, max protect, max protection when you're um, running them. Now there, I don't think I uh, pass committed on that play. And there's another reason why you want to cover any routes over the middle because that is going to be the weak spot of this defense is the middle now right here again the pressure doesn't come off and this guy right here is looks like he's getting separation on this play so this is a pretty looks like this play may not do so well against it because we're not getting the pressure the pressure is not getting in I'm able to roll out and just hit this guy over the middle but again if you notice your opponent is going to Beasley there over the middle then you can go off that deep route um, let me just man this guy up. So let me man this uh, strong safety up to Beasley let's, as if I was covering him. And let's see. Uh, right here, the pressure does come in. So this time, the pressure does come in um, just randomly. Uh, let me man up this guy again on Beasley. So I'm trying to simulate if you were guarding Beasley because you noticed he kept going to Beasley. He's really probably going to then try to go for the deep route back here. And all you want to do on that is switch on that guy and then play the ball so he'll knock the ball out of the receiver's hand uh, because you're not going to really um, probably get that pick in that situation when he's throwing the ball deep. Now this time he just comes straight through there and sacks it. So this one doesn't look like it's working um, over 50%. It's more like 30%. But if you notice where your opponent is going with the ball, you can look, take that away. Two people on him. There's nobody really open and your opponent is going to either have to run the ball or he's going to throw a jump ball up in the coverage, which hopefully you can bat it down or get that pick. Uh, let's call another play out of pistol, see if there's any more. So I just basically picked a bunch of random pistol plays. We looked at we looked at the PA post shot. Pistol bunch doesn't have any running backs going to the left. This one doesn't have any running backs going to the left. Okay, we got a pistol spread where running backs going to the left to see what that does and it's a very simple play I mean I'm gonna use it if I see my opponent uh, running a running back on that left side now right here this guy looks open for me so I'm gonna throw it to him so so far we didn't get the pressure coming in and this route right here looking over the middle is kind of on the low side so I'm not sure how that's going to work in terms of getting it defended because it looks like because Beasley gets that separation that it's not doing too well at stopping this one. Uh, right here he comes straight in A-gap. So it's random when this play works. You just got to be aware that you may give up any of these crossing routes underneath. You may give them up, but you also will get stuff like that. You get the, the A-gap and the edge heat coming off at the same time. So it's definitely random when it works, but you just don't want to give up the deep ball over the middle. You see that ball right there? You don't want to allow your opponent to get the deep ball. So give up the short crossing route over the middle, and once Beasley catches it, um, just make sure he doesn't get any more yards. Maybe he gets 8, 10 yards. But you definitely want to shut that down because you know eventually if your opponent just keeps running this play, one, one of the times you're going to get that A-gap or you're going to get that edge heat come in um, right there the blitz gets picked up and right here we get pretty good defense from our, our, our defender right there so you never know when your um, the AI on your team is going to give you 
you know, a bat down or the t coverage is going to be tight. So you just make sure you don't give up any deep plays when you're running this. So let's take a look at the single back. It's the same thing. Uh, we're going to look for some running, uh, where the running back is going to the left. Um, we got one here, misdirect shot. Let's take a look at that. So right here we've got a Beasley that's going on a crossing route kind of um, deep over the middle but the two outside routes are on these out and, out and ups right so pass commit play QB what you want to do is use the middle of the field and make sure you don't get any um, anybody going now right here there's not really open so I don't really like that so I'm going to take off running so that's what your opponent is going to see if he drops back and right here we get the loop around for the linebacker comes straight in uh, pass commit play QB we're gonna look for Beasley over the middle uh, we got the defenders there so I'm just gonna run that so this play looks like well defends Beasley's route right over the middle well but if the corner if the running back is able uh, quarterback is able to get out of the pocket he can maybe get yards on you but right here Again, I don't really get anything. So right here, you're going to shut down this particular play in terms of looking for Beasley over the middle. But you're not doing a great job at containing when you're talking about a quarterback who's mobile enough to scramble out and get you 8 to 10 yards every time. So this play, I wouldn't say is that great, only because um, Dak Prescott's a pretty mobile QB, and he can just run it. Uh, let's take a look at another play and again not every time you call it it's going to work but what you're trying to do is limit your opponent because you know what you're giving up you're basically giving up any crossing route underneath but you're not going to give up the deep ball and eventually one of these times the blitz is going to come in and hopefully that happens on a third down or fourth down especially if your opponent keeps running the same play over and over you know, the computer AI on your team will start to um, anticipate and probably will get through every one of those times. Now this time the heat comes off the edge. So this in this particular play, which we have Beasley going on that um, seam route and we have two outside routes. This one looks like it comes in straight up the middle. Yeah, right here. So the heat comes straight up the middle this time. Um, so in this particular play, you're going to get it stopping it every time. Oh, that time the blitz gets picked up. But really, I don't have anybody to throw to. Um, so it's still a good play on this one. Uh, let's pick a, maybe a couple more just to show you that you can run this as just a general. You see the running back running to the right. And that last play, I think, was PA comeback. Um, the boot plays. Let's pick a boot play. These look the same. Let's pick this boot play. I picked the boot play in the middle. Mm, let's see. Can't get this play here. Pass commit. Make sure you cover the middle. Don't know what's going to happen on this. Just random. Right here, the blitz gets picked up. But you see that defender right there is actually in front of Beasley. So he's actually defending that crossing route uh, pretty well. Now right here, the heat comes off the edge. I end up looking for Witten there. So for some reason we have Witten's guy coming straight off and blitzing. And right there the heat almost comes up the middle. That crossing route from BZ is not really there. And that right there is what I'd probably be looking for. So that's why you want to make sure you don't allow anything deep um, over the middle. Because your opponent, and right here the heat just comes straight up the middle. So it's the same kind of thing. After the, um, it looks like when the computer AI knows that you're running this play they start to actually do a good job of getting in and I'm not sure how well this is going to work in um, in live action but for me because I know what I'm giving up it doesn't really matter because I know eventually it's going to come in one of these times and it might be a big play for me right there I decided to hit that guy right there so we're running against one more play just to show you that it doesn't come in every single time but it is a good play to call because you know exactly what you're doing you know exactly 
how you're using the play. Here's one PA draw shot out of single back. This is one that I know people run when they get desperate. Um, they'll run this to just get deep. You see that S route going on that deep post. That's the one they usually look for. And if that isn't open, they'll look for um, that red crossing route coming over the middle. So let's just try this for the last play. I forgot the pass command. Now right here, that pressure was coming. You see the deep route's not really open. There's two people on it. That would be you helping and covering that. So let me pass commit this time. Um, Trust the pass fake, and then you see the heat comes off the left side. Let's run it one more time. This one, I think the heat probably comes off the left side. Oh, no, actually, that one come in A gap or B gap. That one B gap. Pass commit. Let's see where the heat comes from this time. Okay, this time it gets picked up but I don't really have a whole lot of time to decide because the, the coverage looked pretty tight and I was trying to figure out who I was going to throw to. I didn't really like the read. Right here, the pressure comes off. Now, right here, I have time, but this guy actually is pretty tightly covered, and he ends up catching it. So you just want to switch on that guy and play the ball so you can break up that pass. I'll run it one more time. This time, the, the pressure is coming up the middle. Again, I don't really have time to throw to that crossing route. And in this case for me I wouldn't even I don't even have time to look at that deep route so I really would just be looking at that crossing route and again the pressure is coming in every single time so as you can see this play doesn't work every time but it does work on um, some plays and it gives you that flexibility where if he's blocking the, if you run this play action against single back or pistol and your blitz doesn't come in like the nickel dog mag because you notice the running backs going to the left, you can call the three overload fire press and see if you can come in and blitz him that way. Um, that's going to do it for this edition of Stop This Play. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, the Anti-Madden is out. Peace.